Hi folks, it's me, Koki, narrating another one of uh, Dr. Leisure's home movies about me. It's another beautiful day down in Hana. I just love uh, watching the sunrise. Mom and I spent the night under the cliff edge here at Koki Beach in Hana. I just love watching those sun uh, rises. What about you? Aren't they gorgeous? If you look closely, you can see Mom's tracks when she crawled in here last night. You have to look really close and you can see my tracks. They're the small ones. Down the beach, you can see the Noah people standing around waiting for us to come out. I overheard them talking about having uh, National Monk Seal Day. Something about if uh, I could see my shadow, we'd have another six months of winter, something like that. It didn't make any sense to me. If you look closely, I think you can see Mom sticking her head out down here, getting ready to come out for the day. Yes, there she is. I can see her now. She looks around. She just wants to be sure that the coast is clear, so to speak, before she comes out. There she goes. And guess who's going to be right with her? Oh yeah, there I am. Haven't I gotten bigger since the last time you saw me? As always, I like to get in Mom's face and let her know that I still love her. In this group of people, Mom told me I had to behave myself and watch what I did. With that thought in mind, I got right in her face and gave her a big kiss. We're going to go down to the water and have our morning swim. But uh, like any morning, it takes a few minutes to get us uh, up and running. Mom's in charge. She moves down the beach and waits for me to catch up. When I get there, I always try and give her a little snuggle, kiss her on the nose. Here we go again. We're on our way. I really like the water. I can't tell you how much I enjoy that uh, feeling of the waves splashing into my face. I was just about born in the water and I just love it. Can't wait to get out there. I can tell already it's going to be a fun day because the waves are a little bigger than they were the other day. and they're Splashing around and I know what's coming. I'm going to be rolling around in the surf and just having a great old time. Mom wants me to stay close by, so I try and do what she wants. I like to stay real close by and get in her face as much as I can. That really gets her goat, so to speak. Anyway, she likes it. I like to do it. Mom told me we were going to swim for a while, and we were out for a couple hours, I'd say. We'd swim down the beach, and then back up the beach, and then back down the beach, and all around. 
and it was fun. It was also tiring, I might add. We're swimming down the beach, and uh, you can see the waves uh, lapping around on us. Won't be long, and we'll be down to the place where the Noah people have the fence up that uh, defines uh, the area of the beach that's reserved for us. I don't know why Noah marks off so much of the beach. Uh, we don't need that much of the beach. We don't need any of it uh, cordoned off. We'll use uh, what we need. We only need a few square feet where we can uh, park our bodies and take a nap. And that's it. We are not resource hogs, like some people I know. We want to share the beach. We like having people around. That's what makes life so interesting. Mom told me that we were going to do this. She told me uh, she was going to bark and let the Noah people know she was coming in there. And she told me to watch and see what they did as they scurried around trying to move the fence. I have to say it was fun to watch. Mom told me that the beaches were for everybody, and that I had to learn to assert myself. And if I wanted to come in on the beach and there were people about, just go on in. People would get out of the way and let me have access to the beach. She told me the idea wasn't to bother people, it was just to go in and uh, claim enough of the beach so that one could lie down and take a snooze. Well, she wasn't trying to force other people out and about and off the beach. She just wanted us a spot for the two of us to uh, take a nap. In fact, she was telling me how the Noah people would often uh, arrive on the scene after she'd hauled out and would chase other people away. And she could tell that this uh, was making a lot of people very unhappy. Sometimes she'd come back to a beach where she'd successfully hauled out, but uh, she would return and she would be met by people yelling and shouting at her when she tried to come in. It was clear they didn't want her to come in. And she un finally figured it out. They didn't want to uh, to deal with the Noah people coming down and telling them that they had to leave the beach. They just wanted to spend some time on the beach. And if uh, we came in, and uh, they would drive them away. Mom raised a good point. You can see in this video that uh, the Noah people have uh, basically taken over two thirds of the beach. You wonder why. We only needed the uh, small portion of the west end of the beach. In fact, most of the time we're, well, when we weren't snoozing, we were off in the water swimming around. We didn't need any of the beach. Anybody could use it. That would be fine with us. It didn't make any difference. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to go off on a little rant about uh, beach and beach using. But I want people to know that us monk seals are willing and able to share the beach don't want it exclusively for ourselves, whatever the Noah people may tell you. We don't want that. Well, you've actually seen how I spent the day. We started out uh, in the morning, moved down the beach, and ended up snoozing all afternoon. Till next time, peace be with you.